I just remember, I was like done recording it, but I'm like, oh wow, I completely forgot to record the reason for why I'm doing this, or what this video is. So this is my reaction to the Super Bowl trailers that dropped last night. Doing this because I don't have my equipment set up, and because I'm lazy. Skyscraper. The Rock. Directed by Russ and Marshall Thurber. It's another rock action movie. What else can I say about it? Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Still looks generic and shitty. Mission Impossible Fallout. More like Mission Impossible, the reason why Henry Cavill couldn't shave his fucking mustache for Justice League. Angle this so I can get in a position where I can get, like, enough space on either side. I can't I can't tell. Is it this way? Is it this way? Like, wh wh which one is better if I'm right instead? Like, wh which one looks better? I can't tell. Stop Westworld Season 2. That shit looks dope. I can't wait for that. I love the first season, contrary to a lot of people's beliefs, but I'm still looking forward to that. I still have no idea what's gonna happen, but it's coming out on April 22nd, so fuck yer. Now the one that you have all been waiting for, the Han Solo solo movie. I actually thought this trailer was pretty cool. If there are any reshoots, I can't tell. Probably won't be able to tell until the actual movie comes out and half the cool footage that's in this trailer is cut out. They were smart and didn't let Alden Ehrenreich speak. It's the smartest decision they've made ever since announcing this stupid movie. The, and the coolest part about it is already going to be Donald Glover, because it's friggin' Donald Glover. When has he not been the best part about anything that he's been in? Um, except for Spider-Man, but that doesn't count, because he fucking clearly didn't even want to be there. Oh yeah, and there was the Avengers Infinity War TV spot. That looks cool. And then the biggest shock of the night, the Cloverfield announcement that the mo next Cloverfield movie was dropping straight to Netflix because Paramount's going fucking bankrupt. And I started watching it after the game was over, and I fell asleep, so I gotta go back and finish that before I can say anything about it. But from what I saw, I enjoyed. But, unfortunately, it looks like my opinion's already been decided, because the internet has spoken, and they all fucking hate this movie, and therefore, if the internet says I must hate this movie, then I guess I hate this movie. I don't like football, by the way. I, I don't understand the obsession with it. I'm sorry, I know I'm the outlier here, but I, I really don't. I only watch this thing for the trailers, if that wasn't already apparent enough. Two, one, go!